Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Xenonauts 2 Early Access. Um, so, quick quick thing to say is that at the end of the last episode, we had an abduction mission here in North America. Uh, well, just after filming that episode, the game crashed. Uh, early Access, remember, uh, but ironically, just as I was praising it for being relatively bug-free. Um, but in any case, I, I had to go and sort of replay out to where we got to. I think the only difference being that the abduction mission, which appeared in the same time, is now in at North Africa, near to our base. So that's the only only thing that's really changed. So let's go and um, look at who we're going to send on the mission. We can do that here from the from the armory. I wish there was a button to kind of just deselect everyone so you could reselect them. Um, but hey, we'll probably take out mostly the same group. What I might do is take out one of the assaults, though. So I did have three of them. Peter's accuracy is pretty low, so let's let's bench him. And let's see who we can add in. So we've got... Another sniper we could potentially add. Could be a good choice. Oh, we also have the new rifleman I've just hired, who's a pretty good all-rounder, so I might take them out as well. Um... Which means getting rid of someone else. And I might get rid of the Grenadier. This is... Yeah. It's the accuracy. It's just so low. Yeah, okay. We're going we're gonna to bench them as well. It is a rescue mission, so not quite as much scope for just nuking everything. Uh, so let's bring in... I think said Michael. And also Dina. There we go, full team. So let's... Uh, everyone who's on the bench can take off the higher level armor. Just make sure everyone's equipped, so... Our well, sniper, he's actually got quite a bit of carry capacity, but that's going to change, I guess, because we're going to put the warden armor on. He's still got a fair bit. So we could take... Oh, he could... Hmm. Could be a candidate for a stun gun. As a sniper, he's not going to be getting particularly close to people, but it might, you know, it might happen. The assault's got a better chance of getting up close and personal. Um, so can we carry... Yeah, we can carry one of those. Let's actually put that in our active inventory. Uh, the sniper's pretty much done. Oh, yeah, we're just checking the armors as well. Warden armor, warden armor, defender armor. So we can put the warden armor on. Which actually saved a bit of capacity there as well. I think we'll leave it be, though. It's too heavy. You could take... Someone else who could probably take this. Oh, I've only I only made two. So maybe this assault has got a bit more capacity. They can take the actual stun baton. Everyone should be in warden armor now, but they're not. I thought I had enough... I thought I had enough warden armors for everyone. Bit annoying. So I put that on Dina. Um, I should have to drop that and one of her grenades. Not amazing. Um, we're going to be using this for quite a while, so maybe maybe I ran out of alloys and couldn't do a full run. That might be it. Okay, well, we've got one more made. Then everyone who's going out on a mission will be able to take that. Um, but for now, actually, how long is that going to take? A day. Could, I mean, it's very close to us. Maybe we, maybe we get that 
armor made, and then we'll go out. There we go. Oh. New base. How, how long have we got on this? Nine hours. How long have we got on this? Okay, yeah. So we'll have 24 hours to travel that distance, so hopefully that's, that's fine. Um, I would like to go out with the best armor we can, so... Let's just say that we're going to sign a new armor, but we're actually going to go into the armory. And Dina here can take the warden armor. So she's got a bit more carry capacity now. Uh, maybe we'll take back... Take off the frag, because she's got this demolition charge. I think it's better to have the... Uh, that. Okay, so I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's go out and uh, intercept. we go. Okay, so abduction missions work a little differently. We can kill all the aliens. There aren't any reinforcements. However, that won't win the mission. What we need to do is get to the tubes and we'll, we'll see what the tubes are. And we and we basically just activate them and that rescues the civilian. Um, each deactivated tube is worth three alloys and three alenium, so it's worth doing as many as we can. I think there's ten in total, so that's quite a nice haul. Um, it's not timed though, so that's good. So we'll just let's do it and we'll make sure we rescue people. Let's just have a quick look to the sides. We can see three aliens from here, or rather from our starting position. We've got one there. There's, there's a tube. And so where are, the, where are the other guys? They're kind of on the top floor here. And we've got a new type there as well. It's a Sekton, but a different kind of type encountered before. I'm wondering if we just get a rocket straight on there. Chance I could get both. How's that rocket look? I'll do that, because I guess the bigger one. Oh, it does not, because I missed. Try again. Wow, okay. Thanks, thanks for nothing. He's actually not got a bad chance. Take it. She here. Um, we're pretty much out of action points there. She's got 41% with her handgun. Give it a go. No, and she got shot. And now she's bleeding. And she's been mesmerized, which means she loses all remaining action points. That's something that class of alien can do. Okay, not not ideal start, I'll be honest. We do that though, so we can get rid of the bleeding at least. Kind of pinned down here from the start. Okay, who have we got here? We've got a heavy, not ideal. A shotgun. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well. This little guy. If we were to come here, we've got a pretty rubbish chance. But we'll be able to crash down behind this rock, so I say we'll give it a go. Not bad, we actually hit. Didn't kill, but we hit. of coming and lobbing a demolition charge. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy. Let's do that. Frag's got a, a wider arc. Are we hitting that other one? It's a 100% chance to hit, so we should kill the big one and do some damage on the little one. Maybe get rid of their cover. down behind this rock. Who else have we got? Can't see. We 
could maybe get to a position where we could lob another grenade, though. We could do, yeah, 88% chance, and that would be a kill, so let's do that. There we go. Okay, so I have to claw this back a little bit. Where's my sniper? Yeah. We need 36 to get a sniper shot off. If we were here... It's going to be a rubbish shot. I will give it a go. You never know. In this case, you could probably guess. Seventeen percent Do a bit more. 30%. Alright, come on. We'll take these low chance shots. Ah, I was going to hit there. Got a heavy gunner. I'm just going to sort of bring up here, I think. Another one of those. Jump into cover. Oh no, there's more. I'm going to get my pistol out. Neil, just as an Overwatch thing. That's basically it. We could be in trouble. I guess we'll see. We've got, we got decent armour. That should at least mean we can take more than one hit. They're running all the way. Are they going to get a shot off? They're not. Oh, there's another one there. Missed. The AI is generally pretty good at taking cover and stuff. Is that it? We done? Well, I think we got off pretty lightly there, all things considered. If I just bring the unit to here, I'll be able to get this guy a bit easier. There he is. Uh, can we shoot with this? Actually, we can't. That's alright. burst maybe we might get a couple yeah good okay well let's crouch we could actually take a shot at this guy 40 percent shot yeah makes it and that's what we got we got the shotgunner a rifle something ran off up here they need to run off too willy-nilly let's um let's see if we can spot him Save, uh, save someone. Any sight still? No. I'm just going to come there. Get, hopefully, get a nice Overwatch shot. We could try and take this alien actually with a stun. Get a couple of shots off at 72%, it's not bad. Unconscious, good, we got one. I like to get into a bit of cover, let's come here. Sniper. Save that for now, because we got we got this, we might be able to get a decent blank here. There's three, say that. Another tube up here, another one there. Nice to get the sniper up that ladder, actually. Uh, 
Lighting one up. I'd like to check in there, but we can do it this turn. I blocked the ladder. Let's just uh, bring the sniper up this far anyway. Leave them there. The shotgun. Okay, well, we don't have any sort of current active threat, so that's good at least. We know there's one that's run off into the into the building uh, down there. Well, friendlies already. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to encounter any aliens in this turn. I guess we'll try and slowly advance up here and just see if we can see it. Came there, I wouldn't be able to shoot if it is there. So we'll just crouch down. We don't need to rush. I know I've kind of been rushing so far, but it was a very busy opening area. I'm actually going to leave him there as well. I'm presuming it's going to be somewhere in here, and if it tries to run out, we've got a couple of chances to get it. Move this heavy gunner. One. Zero chance of hitting it though. Let's just pull in here. Ah, this one, however, a little bit more of a problem. chance to hit. Let's just save that for now. Maybe we could bring uh, the Mars rover up. I'll pop it in this room too. We see it there from there now. Okay, let's if we come up to this pile of stuff. Probably can. Take that. Too bad. Our sniper might have a decent chance now. She comes up, let's see, there. Oh, no. This is where having, like, no movement is, is not great. Don't like the 50% chance of. Is it a 10% chance of actually hitting the, the rover? Alright, let's take it. Yeah, we hit the rover. We did quite a lot of damage to it, too. Seventy percent I guess we can take that. We've got other things we can do as well. Do have this. So now suddenly the pistol shot. We could get here. Forty seven. I mean it's worth a go. No. I hate that. Probably worth it. A little bit of a Hail Mary, but we've got a decent chance of landing one of these shots. Landed two and it's dead. Where's this other one? Oh, that's all the way up there. How are we doing? So we've got these guys. We 
we're going to need to investigate this building a little bit. I'm going to do the tube. And the roof might not be a bad option for him. Come here first. I should get a little sight down there, which would be nice. This would be okay. Come this side. Just crouch down. Wow, in turn. Okay. Here's the little gun. Overwatch. <laughs> You. Okay. Back to us. They're not doing too bad. I think we'll be okay going off around here. Let's just make sure I've got the right unit selected. someone else. So we've got three out of five now. Crash down behind this rock. I'm going to leave him there for a moment. Maybe he can provide a bit of sniper support around the map. I guess we'll see. We no, there's a little alien in here. No, he's, he went in here, didn't he? Let's see. There he is. Actually, that's, that's a decent chance. I think we'll take that. Let's just tack in, in here. Can I go through? I can go through windows. Okay, let's try this. We know there's something moving around over here, so it might be nice to get a little bit of sight on that, potentially. It's kind of work to come up here. Have we seen them? They've actually gone up to an elevated position themselves. I think we'll come to here. that roof now, aren't they? Where was I? Do. We've got two rockets left. Who's to come, say, here? It's not quite enough. I mean, it's remaining, but here. Definitely not see that. Might be distance. Yeah, 
we're losing 70% accuracy because of the range. Okay, so that's not brilliant. Push up a bit. We'll try and get on this roof. Well, that's it. Okay. There's another tube down there I didn't get. Let's make sure we grab that. Ooh, no, it's gone. Lost the rover. We can rebuild it. So it's not it's not the end of the world. It just means we've, we've lost it for this mission, obviously, and it's going to cost about 100 grand to build a new one. But it is what it is. So we've got our heavy here now. And if they come here... It doesn't really get much better than that, the heavy. Let's try it. I was expecting that to be a kill, I'll be honest. I'll take this there. I'm not sure if I like the heavies. They're, they're extremely inaccurate. I mean, it could be the soldiers' inaccuracy as well. Let's see what we can do with them. I know there's another one around here somewhere. Probably up there. Run out of stuff down here, people down here. I might have to... I'd rather have done the tubes as I went, really. I forgot about that one. Possible we're getting towards the end of um, the aliens on the map, though. Yeah, we knew where that one was. It's actually got a shot. Not really, though. <laughs> Let's um, make sure we take some cover. We're not going to assume that's the last one, but I think there's a good chance of it. This guy, I might run him back for this one. Yeah, it's going to take him a couple of turns. Okay, she hasn't got a bad shot if we can just um, manage it. We need to leave 34. Who would come here? 92%, that's not bad. Get behind that wall as well. I'm a little suspicious of this side of the map. We haven't seen very much up here. Towards the top corner now. There is a couple of tubes here. I've got this sniper. If I could get... Oh yeah, I don't know if that's a shot he can make. Right there. He hasn't got the AP for it. Let's bring him up anyway. There might be something around here. Hey, they're worried about this end turn. Oh wow, there was one in there. Oh, we lost someone. was that? That was... I don't even remember. A rifleman, I think. Well, bye-bye. <laughs> Him as well. Not with a shotgun, though. Again. Yes, we 
we've got this guy. Uh, we've got our sniper. Another 92%. Got well, the hit, but not the kill. Figure out if there was other enemies moving around. Forty-seven percent chance. Maybe we'll try it. It seems to come off, does it? Anyway, she can manage a pistol shot. I'll try fifty-eight. <laughs> Throw me a bone. I might lose someone else. That's because you couldn't manage the 70% shot. I think that's it for aliens, so let's concentrate on getting the remiss to the tubes. Fortunately, at the early stages of the game, we're not really at a point where kind of think of the soldiers as indispensable. Sounds a bit mean, but... It's kind of the truth. It's kind of how things are. Oh, it is time. It's our last remaining turn. Oh, there's one more tube. Oh, it's down. Was I not sending someone down here? Oh, was it them? Do they... Uh, okay, so we're not going to get ten, unfortunately. Unless... Oh well. Not as successful that one. Didn't get all our objectives. I mean, we, we completed the mission. We did lose a couple of people. Um, I just kind of got into the point where I just wanted to take that alien down. I was thinking when I was taking, like, you know, sort of multiple 60, 70% shots that one of them's got to hit. He only had 10 HP. One hit would have done it. Um, that's XCOM, baby, as they say. Let's quick look at the mission debrief. So actually, we only lost one soldier. I think maybe, was it Cowrie who got shot? I think maybe she was just extremely wounded. She does get a, a crimson heart, not a purple heart. She gets a crimson heart for uh, getting wounded, which grants her plus one to all attributes which isn't bad. Uh, some of these guys have a golden star, which is for five alien kills. Which is pretty nice. 
It's a shame that it was a lieutenant, because he's obviously been with us for a little while, but he was a rifleman, which kind of means he was probably more of an all-rounder. Unfortunately, I can't highlight his stats, so I can't see what he was like. He's dead to us. Get over it. <laughs> okay, so in engineering, uh, we have to wait till it comes, the ship comes back, actually, uh, and then we can rebuild the, the Mars. Oh, we've got a Scion. So this is like kind of a, a Secton Plus. Uh, but they have this skill Mesmerize. So as we kind of saw, uh, anyone who uh, tries to attack them but fails to hit, um, they'll attempt to get mesmerized, which means they have to pass a morale test. And if they fail, they are mind controlled for a turn. Um, I haven't really seen that happen. It says mesmerized, but um, they just lost all time units. So I don't know if that's not quite working as intended or whether we just have resolved that issue before it's become a become an issue. But let's read the text. Although they are significantly larger and rather more dangerous than the sectons encountered previously, genetic analysis suggests that these scion corpses are in fact exactly the same species as their smaller brethren. My autopsy suggests this is simply sexual dimorphism. The robust bone structure around the torso of a scion serves to protect the organs within the chest cavity, the largest of which appears to be a uterus. Thus, females of the species appear to have grown larger and stronger than the males to better protect their unborn children. One suspects the genders then continue to evolve into steadily more specialised roles. The cranial cavity of the scion is more bulbous, housing an unusually large and highly complex brain that contains several large biological structures of unknown function. Embedded within these are a number of metallic implants of similarly opaque purpose. This means that the raw physical and combat abilities of a scion are not dissimilar to that of the average human. However, the vast superiority of extraterrestrial technology means that these creatures are deadly opponents on the battlefield. More concerning still are the purported psionic abilities that give this creature its name. Every soldier that has encountered a scion on the battlefield has reported some degree of disorientation, confusion or hallucination creeping into their consciousness. This effect is most acute when looking directly towards the creature, i.e. when attacking it. The idea that extraterrestrial beings are, in are capable of influencing our very thoughts is troubling, Commander. These are clearly fearsome foes. We also captured a Secton, if you remember, so we can assign a new research project there. I think we've got something ongoing at the moment, laser weaponry, which we're going to continue doing. But under vehicles now, I can rebuild the Mars platform for half the cost, basically. So it's 250 to build a new one in four, nearly five days. Or to rebuild, it, it's three days, so we'll do that. I think I also saw a note. Yeah, I did see a notification about living capacity becoming available. Um, so we can probably fill up our engineers and, and um, scientists now. So we've got 12 of them. Going to take most of our money. But... Oh, we've got to wait for them to arrive. I keep forgetting that. Let's go into the stores. Let's see if I can sell something. We, we, we'll get money in a couple of days, but we might be able to earn a bit more uh, by selling surplus bits and bobs. I want to keep one of each corpse just in case. Can you give me this defender armor? Uh, okay, so. We'll see how many scientists we can get for that. Probably not many. So we've got five more we can hire, but I can only afford three more. So we'll, when we, once we're paid, we'll, we'll get the last couple of those in. Uh, which should be soon, hopefully. Hopefully there won't be anything really happening between now and then. Uh, they have arrived. Now it's end of month. So we've revealed both cleaner cells. I think we've probably reached about 50% in our network research. So we've got one over here and one over here. And we can attack those any time. They're persistent targets. Uh, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we've made... A net of 2.7 million. So that's, uh, that's topped us up quite nicely. It will go quickly though. Uh, but for now, we'll just concentrate on getting those other scientists in. 100k. And we'll also have a look at the soldiers we can hire now as well, because we, we're down a few now. Uh, it's quite nice to have a bit more of a surplus. So let's have a look who we can recruit. In terms of accuracy, we've got quite a nice one here. We've got uh, Georgia, Georgia Zenos, um, which is quite a nice coincidence. A little bit low on the HP, but very high accuracy and time unit. So I think that's a good candidate for another sniper. Um, if you look down the time units, oh yeah, maybe sort by accuracy a bit more. 
Stein's okay. Lower on the time unit side, but fairly decent at everything else. So I think I'll bring in Kurt. Rosalind's in a similar situation, like probably another good rifleman there. Um, these guys are a bit low on the time unit side, but quite strong here. And accuracy not terrible, so maybe a heavy or grenadier. Ah, okay, so we're, we're up. This is as many as we can have. And I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's recruit those. Another week or so, and we'll have another living quarters available as well. Okay, so that's done. Um, I don't think there's really anything else for me to build at this moment. But we'll have laser weaponry soon, like within the next 10 hours, so that, that will change very quickly. Here we go. So, laser weaponry. Uh, damage multiply 135%, no armor penetration, but armor destruction. So it won't go through enemy armor like with those lizard men that we saw, but it will remove it. So that is, that is good. Uh, it says easy aiming, so... Um, a little difficult to explain, but it says it up here on screen. So basically, soldiers firing laser weapons gain 0.5 accuracy for each point of accuracy below 65. So an example, a soldier with 55 accuracy will therefore have an effective accuracy of 60 when firing a laser weapon. So it just kind of brings up the lowest accuracy soldiers to be a, a little bit more reliable, which is good. Um, and they're going to do another research project now. Alenium power is probably a good one. We could interrogate the sect, Tom. I think I'm going to do Alenium Power, because that will unlock some, some good stuff. So let's do that. And for manufacturing... Um, laser rifles are pretty important, because... Um, we have more riflemen than any other. I think if we do, say, three of those... I'd like the sniper, maybe a couple of snipers. A couple of shotguns. Running a bit low on Alenium here. We could do two more guns, basically. So maybe we do another rifle and a machine gun. And that'll keep us going for the time being. Um, can't remember if the, uh, the if the new manufacturers have, have arrived. I, th I think so. But here we go. Yeah, so we've got some, a couple of extra scientists and the soldiers. So let's just uh, go and have a look at those guys. They've all come in as riflemen, but I think we said that Georgia uh, was going to be a good candidate for a sniper with that uh, accuracy of hers. Um, who else did we have? Rosaline was new, wasn't she? She's quite a good all-rounder, so we might actually just leave her as a rifleman. Kurt. Maybe a rifleman as well. They are good. They're kind of good all-round as the riflemen, so it makes sense to have more of those than the others. Um, but yeah, we'll leave those for now. I might just unassign everyone, so the next time we get a mission, we can kind of just pick and choose who we want. Need another training centre as well. That's probably a good time to, to put one in. So, I'm going to pop that out here so we get the little bonus there on that. Might be a good idea to put a missile battery now. I didn't get attacked in my first game, but it's not to say that it won't ever happen. I probably need another generator as well. Um, yeah, not looking too bad. With, that, with selling stuff as we get it, kind of the stores are staying reasonably sensible. Okay, so the laser rifle's done. Living quarter's done. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, we've got loads. We could... We, uh, it depends if there's soldiers worth hiring, I suppose. Um, like Carey here low reflexes so he's, he's tell you what he's good in everything else he's really good in everything else so I think we do hire him 
but he's gonna get he's gonna get shot at. <laughs> so maybe he's a good candidate for for even for like a sniper or something because he's he's gonna be attacking from distance then. Um, low strength. I don't like low strength because they can't just can't carry as much. This isn't too bad. But we don't have to, we don't have to like hire everyone now. Let's just bring one in. We'll gradually get to a point where we've got a nice full squad, loads of people. Um, so that's the sniper rifles done. That's good. Okay, we've got a small UFO now. So let's launch our interceptors. It's been a while since they went out to do something. And let it roll. Now, auto-resolve, as mentioned the last time we did it, the devs have said they're not that happy with how, how that works currently. They took a bit of damage. Nothing, nothing we need to worry about, though. So we've got a crashed uh, scan. I'm just going to close that, and we're going to go and see how much longer I have on these this stuff. So we'll have shotguns. It's about four days. Yeah, uh, I think if we can, if we wait until these are finished, it gives us nearly 24 hours to get over here. Ooh, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Anyway, I think we'll think about this. Just go into the base. So time isn't advancing. And I'll just say thanks very much for watching this episode of Xenonauts. When I get back, we're going uh, next time. We're going to look at assembling a team to go and do that crash landing. We'll probably try and leave those shotguns to be built and then rush over there. I think we'll have about 19 hours of flight time. I think that'll be okay. It's quite close. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. As would leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game and the series and anything else you like, really. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed, it would be amazing if you could do so. So thanks very much once again, and I hope to see you next time for more Xenonauts 2 Early Access. Bye for now. <laughs>